Hi, Julie Mills here. Just a quick video to demonstrate how I combat spam bots. Those, those annoying little online bits of software which will go into your Infusionsoft forms, fill them out and before you know it you've got a lot of rubbish data in your Infusionsoft and then it becomes a manual job to sort it all out. To give you an example of the problem, so here, here's my website here and you can see I've got an exit pop-up and a timer pop-up where I'm capturing people's email addresses and it's using a plugin called Pop-up Alley. It's really good, um, I must say. Uh, the one shortcoming it has is all you can have is capture the name and email address here, which works fine, but the problem is these online bits of software, malicious bits of software, can latch onto your form and start filling it in automatically. As I say, so you come back and suddenly you've got a database of 20,000 full of rubbish data. So how do I combat that? Well, on Infusionsoft forms, of course, you can put a capture box here sometimes, which looks ugly, uh, and I don't like those. And anyway, in this instance, with Pop-Up Alley, I don't have the option to put that there. I've got no choice. So I have to combat the spam entries some other way. So I'll show you how I do that now. So just exit that. So the first thing I like to do on my infusion source is to, on my dashboard, keep a track of the total database I've got there and how it's growing. And this gives me a visual way of just keeping an eye on data so I don't get any nasty surprises where suddenly I realise I've got a lot of this rubbish data and I've got to manually, f it's very difficult to get rid of it once you've got it. It becomes a manual job. So what I like to do is have some counters going here. Just save reports on the dashboard here. You see on this little test account here I've got 103 records. I can see I've got seven contacts in the last seven, uh, nine contacts in the last seven days, uh, three new contacts today, and it's also telling me I've got a potential spam contact here. So I'll show you what these things tend to look like this. Sometimes they will, they'll have no name and rubbish email addresses. So I'm filtering these out based on tags, and I'll show you that method that I've developed later in a few minutes. Anyway, so I'm able to see it at a glance from my dashboard. Uh, and get a, f a feel for my data. So I say, what I don't want is, and I've had it before, where you've got 20,000 spam entries, you've got to just start deleting data, try and clean them up. So this this little report here it gives me a snapshot, and I can keep an eye on it. I've had three new contacts today, I can click there. And just keep a visual, you can see that looks obviously suspicious there, that one. So that would be a high candidate for a, sp a spam bot entry. So I'll show you the little campaign that lets me filter these out. I just call it a sort of honey pot for spam bots campaign. Very simple. So this is this is the pop up alley form. This is this is um linked to that pop up alley so form we saw on my website. So as soon as that f is filled in, everyone gets a tag applied to them to say they're a, they're a, not, they've not confirmed they're not a spammer, so that indicates to me this could well be a spam contact. That's how I'm counting them on my dashboard. So as soon as they fill in the uh, pop-up alley form, they're taken straight away to a second form, which is linked via a hidden email field. You see that here? So that's a hidden email field that links all together. Uh, just a little bit of text there saying thanks for registering to confirm you're a real person. Do this simple little test. Uh, 3 plus 7. Obviously the answer is 10. But a spam bot can't work that out. There's a personal will work that out. And, and I do find, I found, for working with clients and myself, everybody that's filled in the first part of the form will fill this form and press for click to register. Over 90% of people, 99% of people I say would do that. I'm not, I'm not seeing anyone that hasn't to be honest. So as soon as a real person takes seven, 7 plus 3 is 10, then we go into this little se sequence and I'll remove that spam tag so they're taken off my spam list automatically and I just get this decision node, I've got a little bit simple bit of logic. If the forms, forms submission option 3 plus, 3 plus 7 is not selected, they go to spam. Uh, if they say I give the answers 3 plus 10 is selected, they go into my qualified contact sequence. 
So that's a simple. That's a simple campaign. It's just let me filter out these these spam entries because the spam bot will not be able to fill this form in. And then all I do to have it show up on my dashboard is create a saved save search. So contacts. And you can see the criteria. All I'm doing is just selecting anyone with that tag, creating a save search, and then putting a widget on my dashboard, like so. And that widget will then display all the potential sp spam contacts. I can keep an eye on that, and it just keep, gives me an eye if there's, if there's a problem going on there with the data coming in. Uh, and every so often, just clean them all out, just delete them. Like so, and just delete those contacts, and the problem is gone. And I'm not ended up within six months' time with a heap of data I've got to filter through, and man you end up manually having to process the damn things. So I hope that helps. And how to combat spam, spam bot email submissions to your web forms.